Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Jurassic Park Hunter Legends, where I'm going to make one adjustment in the options, because if you guys are a fan of the Carnivore series, you might have seen our Carnivore's Genesis we just did on Monday, and that was probably one of my favorite hunts I've done so far that really stands out as memorable. The animals, they can be a bit super insensitive to things, but for the most part, it worked well in Genesis, and I want to try it out here in Jurassic Park Hunter Legends as well. So, where do we want to start here today? We're going to go back to the abandoned InGen facility. We do have the hunting shotgun I think I want to try to get some attempts in with. I want the double ammo on. I'm going to take those two off, however. And... It's time. It may be time. We look at going after... After Velociraptors now. Like, the roster, we do only have those kind of last three to go after the Lost Raptor, but we have actually managed to get one Raptor in. So what I think I'll do is I'll do the Ankylosaur, the Lost Raptor, the Hunting Shotgun. We'll try this out and see how we do. Because last week, with the Lavasaurs squeaking out in the abandoned facility, they're very atmospheric, and I want to see how the Raptors are going to feel on a map like this. But everything's looking good, so let's hop in and see how we do on this hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded in here, and it does spawn us in an area that's, well, ve basically exactly the kind of spot I was wondering what it'd be like if the raptors were on the map. Okay, let's start with one of them. Oh, they chose a soup. You knew the exact sound to use. Okay, actually, I... Wow, we actually start in the very bottom corner, and of course the wind is pointing right into the middle of the map. But, yeah, you knew one of the exact sounds to use for the raptor call, and I... Bravo on that. Okay, nothing really yet, and... With the way the map sort of is, it's probably going to be a while before we may see... Oh, jeez, we got a lot of guys. Just, like, all the ambience going around. I gotta admit, the remasters of the maps are so good. So we just gotta make our way into the main... I'm actually not sure what that was. I think it was just ambience of one of the... Well, some scorpions wandering about. Okay, well, looks like we'll probably start getting out of the little, like, tall grass patches here. <laughs> nope. We got a little grunt back, so it seemed over in this direction. I am going to try going a little bit north, though. Just see if we can try offsetting the wind. But it's kind of hard to say exactly how far off that call came from. Oh, actually, I thought I was kind of getting up and so the wind wouldn't be an issue for us, but well, I can't it. Like, it's literally pointing right at the darn animal. At least the good news is it's not running immediately off. Oh, no, never mind. It's uh, running immediately off. See, that's the thing that I discovered in Genesis, if you guys had been watching that video, was that... Even if the animals are sense set at like zero sensitivity, they that doesn't mean they're like helpless and they'll just stand there like sticks in the mud. No, they still have a good detection range on them. And they will definitely pick you up. Okay, I thought I was hearing footsteps, which is why I went silent all of a sudden on you guys. Apologies for that, but it's just... Sometimes when you get into it, you get right into it and really feel sort of what... Like you are right in the situation. 
Okay, so he's up this way now. That sounds like a parasaur call. That was definitely an ankylosaur. So they are going to make their own little ambient sounds just as they're kind of out and about. Okay, yeah, so again, I'm getting about the 150 mark and then they're able to pick me up. No raptor reply, though. So it might be if I can get a sighting on the ankylosaur. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. He's pretty well in there. I'm not going to call this time, because I think that might give us away. You can kind of hear him making quite a bit of noise. There we go. And now it actually feels like you can use short range weapons at short ranges, so that's one of the really nice things to feel with the difference, like saying the sensitivity change like that, but there you are. Just kinda I don't exactly look too comfy with the way your legs are, but you're enjoying a little schnooze right now. So we've gotten one half of our roster. Now Okay, that ambience was very well timed, considering that we were about to talk about going after a raptor. Oh, looks like we managed to stumble upon the uh, alipad too. So we'll get our way up there, and then probably follow this along and in towards the heart of the map a bit more. Uh, pretty noisy map, if I'm honest. Like, I think once we actually do unlock the Tyrannosaur, I think we're going to definitely be a bit more on edge every time we hear the roar as the ambient plays. Because it's always going to be the question, is that just ambience, or is that actually one nearby? Oh, and we actually get to see a little copy right in the open. And you are kind of haunting. You remind me more of... Less like the movie versions of the Confi you can see, and more like, if you guys have ever heard, uh, like the Jurassic Park novel itself, and heard about what the Compies would do, uh, or one of the incidents with the Compies on the mainland, yeah, it reminds me more of that, like, demonish sort of look to it. Pretty quiet around here, so I guess we'll... I mean, there's not too much that's changed with the helipad, is there? I don't know if I can actually get up here now or not. My guess is no. And my guess was right. I didn't think we'd really be able to get onto that thing, but you never know. So for now, we'll just kind of keep along. Gives us a nice overview into, like, the woods below. And we'll just kind of keep going along, keep trying every call now and then, and see what we get. But speaking of, let's start a couple now. Okay, not a thing. Oh lord, you came in to say hi. And nothing right now for the raptors either. Now, I don't know whether I should be happy that we aren't getting the raptors so we can keep hunting without danger, or nervous, because we never know where they may be. With the shorter view range and like the bit of mist and fog blanketing the area, it definitely has just that really sucks you in and you're not sure what's nearby.
It really seems like it. I mean, I'm starting to think maybe that's not an ambience, and that's actually, there are just parasaurs nearby that we're hearing. It might be now that we're not actually actively hunting one. They feel safe enough to make a lot of calls and just be around us in general. Yeah, I'm really not picking much up. I'm kind of surprised at that, especially with the ground we've covered. Like, we send the ambience running with their raptor calls, but... For... The distance that we managed to get in here, I'm surprised we haven't heard more. Okay, thought I heard something then like some heavy footsteps running away in just a moment there but I don't know <laughs> oh I'll take took a while but we Wh okay so it definitely picked us up and it turned and ran but it was already right at the very edge of what we could see so yeah, guys, do not feel guilty if you have to turn the sensitivity down in order to just, like, try hunting or starting into the game or even playing to the end game. It's basically... that might be why it's an option in, like, the settings and that is everybody's going to have different little tolerances and skill how... or not skill... Well, I guess maybe skill how... sense of how, what you need in order to hunt at the different levels, so... Be a noob like me if you want, but have a blast with them. That's probably be my advice, and then that way too, you don't feel like you're forced to keep the camouflage and the cover scent on. Oh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, so you're just out over there. I'll try sneaking up behind you. I think as long as we don't call and we just kind of stay crouched and slow, we should be able to get through this right to him. I'm trying to remember his mortal stones. I know one's the eye. I don't know if we'll be able to sneak... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm going to go, like... No, I think he actually might have heard us and started off. Okay, I'm... I was hearing some pretty heavy foot footsteps. All of a sudden, things got a little more. N oh, is that just a Galmimus? Okay, yeah, they are just Galmimus. All I saw was that slender, whip-like tail, and I thought, could that actually be a raptor? That because we were focused on the Ankylo more. Speaking of, where the heck did he go? That's a good question, because it's spooked over this way, but... Maybe because of the marsh, it went around the far side there. That's a p possibility. Oh, nope, there he is. Or it is. Yeah, it is getting hard to get close to him. i surprised it's this difficult, if I'm honest. I mean, you guys are just... Oh, actually, three of you are just chilling inside the little middle pond there. Okay, well, let's see if we can... Try getting close for this Ankylo. The wind shouldn't be as much of a problem. I don't want to try calling. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we should be okay to get in closer this time. The wind definitely doesn't seem like it should be a problem. It might be diff a little difficult to actually being able to see them, though. Because, again, it is very dense with the trees here. It keeps jumping between the Anki and the Compi on the way. So he should be... Okay, no, so that's the Ankylosaur I'm hearing stepping and stomping. Which I'm kind of surprised at, like, the distance... Oh, he was... Just because he was behind those ferns, I couldn't quite get a good sight to see what we were looking at. I'm surprised. No raptor still, even like coming this way and... That is strange. <laughs> okay, so there you are up there. Okay, I got a better sight line to him now. I thought I did. But, yeah. For some reason, some of them just seem to be, like, super sensitive and just can pick you up no problem at all. And I cannot seem to get a reply from a raptor. So this is... Started off a bit strong, but definitely not exactly following up with that, am I? It's weird that... I try crouching, I seem to be more sensitive almost. Yeah, it's... I wonder if crouching actually is making it like I'm louder as I move? I don't know, it's weird because I was able to stand upright and walk almost right into him. Huh. That is kind of confusing as to how that worked. Maybe I just got to stop trying to be so delicate about and just brute force sometimes. That could well be it as well. With having played uh, The Hunter Call of the Wild, I'm more used to having, I guess, a little more time to be a bit more careful and delicate about the approach than that, whereas, gotta remember, Carnivores isn't exactly that complex of a game. But I really would like to try to get us w at least one raptor on our time out here. It's just... cannot seem to get any calls back from him. <coughs> now we spooked off the Carithosaur. Now this is a bit odd. Hackies. I am really, really surprised that we've not gotten a single raptor call back. That is wow. Like.
like for as much ground as we covered, I thought we might have gotten at least one. Maybe it's almost a good thing we didn't because of the couple of Ankylos we've gotten now. Well, was, it really has, I think, just been two. I really need to up my game a bit on some of these hunts if I want to keep you guys interested, but at least it is something, and we have found ourselves perhaps the facility that's mentioned in the map right here, although this looks more like just like a trailer, almost. Yeah, it's a, almost like a storehouse of some kind. Ooh, this thing looks like it's been through heck, though. Either burned or rusted. Kind of hard to tell on it, especially with all the windows smashed like that. Oh, wow. You know, you could probably cheat the game a little bit if you do hunt around here. Just call things in. And I don't know if they'd be able to get you being up here. Try one more call. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get lucky with anything coming in, but we're going to head back because at least we did get some points with those two ankylosaurs, so it is a little bit of progress this week. Okay, so we're back in the main menu now, and we did get a number of points, so we could look... I mean, we could try for a Ceratosaurus, but I think what I'd rather do is keep going on the abandoned engine... Ah, apologies, something in my sinuses kind of caught me there. Now, we could go back to the abandoned engine facility, and we probably will, and... I mean, I could use the rifle with some of these other things, but I think I want to take the bow out again, do a bit more hunts with those. I think the big thing is... Swallowing my pride and admitting I need the low sensitivity, and if you guys are struggling at all, I would recommend that as well. It feels like it's almost like shifted the game around a lot, because instead of really frustrating and struggling to get in to even just see the dan- The danimals? The dinosaurs or animals. It just really helps make the game feel a bit more approachable. But anyway, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Jurassic Park Hunter Legends. If you do like the series, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, any comments, tips, tricks, or anything at all, be sure to leave them down in the comments right down below. Can you tell this is my first recording session of today? But until I see you all next episode, survivors, please remember as always to take care and stay alive.